Today's video is on a 34-year-old actress from Detroit who wants to get rid of the toenail fungus on her big toes. She has very pretty feet and gets the color Take That Taupe from the Meticulous Manicurist nail polish line and I discuss a few myths about glove use and cross-contamination, so stay tuned. If you're new here, welcome. Please subscribe and turn on your notifications in case you are chosen as the winner in the random comment game. It's a lot better now than it was a few months ago. I lifted um, an IKEA drawer set that came in the mail. It was the, they delivered out in the garage. Mm -hmm. And I picked it up to bring it into the house and I blew out a disc in my lower back. A needle, a real skinny needle, right near the nerve next to your facet joints and then they heat it up in the heat. They call it burning, but it's not really burning. Um, well, it kills the nerve. Yeah. So that's I'm, I'm doing really, really good now compared to <laughs> what it was two years ago. You have pretty toes. Are they relaxed? There you go. How long did it take you guys to get here today? Just about 40 minutes, 45 minutes. Oh, that's good. Glad it wasn't snowing. Yeah. A lot of people who made December appointments who were coming from a distance were worried. Oh, I hope it's not snowing on the day I come. I'm like, I hope it isn't either. So it was on your whole foot? Just my big toe. Oh gosh. Just my big toe and then because it's like touching. Touching that toe, one, yeah. It kind of, um. So it was probably athlete's foot if it itched. Oh my God, it was so bad. It was unbearable. See, that's the thing. People always give me a hard time. Why don't you have on gloves? Why don't you have on gloves? It's like, um, gloves isn't what right. <laughs> causes transfer of stuff. It's dirty tools. Yeah. And if you have dirty tools who are touching the client's toenails, it doesn't matter if I have on gloves or not. And washing and disinfecting your hands when you're finished gets rid of any kind of anything that was on the foot in the first place. Yeah, that was so unreal. Wasn't it so bad? It was like disgusting. Did you take any pictures of it? An issue with your toenails can pop up at any time. It's important not to ignore it. The sooner you take care of it, the less likely any bacteria will invade your nail plate. I'll be talking about a few myths of glove use during the foot filing portion. So stay tuned until then. Yeah, this is gonna feel great because your skin is coming off really nice. It's like butter. Never looks like there's that much excess skin. Can you see the small dark area in the corner on the 
the right hand side of her nail and then the darker patch on the left side of her big toenail those are the areas that have the nail fungus you guys want a coffee or anything or water we have hot tea You let me know if any of this is uncomfortable. So once I clear away a little bit of this debris that's underneath the sides closest to the edges, once it goes back into the water, the water will be able to penetrate underneath there a little bit better, and then I'll be able to clean out from underneath it. I'm not gonna dig all the way underneath your toenail, but you can see the outline right here of all of that darkish orangey stuff. And um, I'm gonna have you get a product and once you start using that, that'll all soak out, it'll all come out and that nail will all be clear. And then your toenail will be able to reattach to the nail bed once all of that comes out. I do have some good news. I've been on a roll lately and she has a follow-up video on my next upload as well. I always make such a mess before they look all pretty again. So what are you guys doing for the holidays? We're gonna go to um, Castaway Bay. Where's that? It's back to the point. Oh, fun! <laughs> so, <laughs> we'll be at the more indoor water park. Oh, nice! Straighten out all the way. You guys have kids? Yeah. How many? Five. What? <laughs> I'm from a family of five, so I know. <laughs> we never had a car big enough to go right. anywhere all together. I remember having a VW. Um, like minivan bus, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Our um, vacations were camping. Are you ready for some enlightening glove information? Oh, yeah. Wearing gloves it's has nice. nothing to do with being professional. If someone chooses to wear a glove during a pedicure procedure, it is for the nail tech's protection, not the client's. Gloves are generally worn and recommended to prevent chemical exposure. I've been accused of not being able to afford gloves. I've had people tell me they hope I catch something, even told that if I touch products, that they'll soak into the pores of my hands and they'll get into my bloodstream and I'll be poisoned. Well, there are no pores or hair follicles on the palms of your hands. The truth is, the skin is a waterproof barrier that protects the body from bacteria and chemical particles. 
skincare companies invest millions and millions of dollars researching how to get ingredients to penetrate the skin deep enough to make a difference and not just moisturize the surface. The outer layer of the skin, the epidermis, is 20 layers thick and your skin has a number of chemical mechanisms that block chemical absorption. Lucky for me, I don't touch chemicals, just the same lotions and salt scrubs I rub on my clients' feet and legs. And the acid pH of the skin neutralizes alkaline ingredients in chemicals, and if anything does get past the epidermis into the stratum corneum, the fatty lipid layer repels anything that is water-based. Then there is the lymphatic and vascular drainage located in the dermis that removes so foreign like particles from the body. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, we are filmmakers. I'm an actress, and oh, okay. Abby is a director. So we actually have two films that will be releasing on Netflix. Oh, fun! So I guess that's what Santa's doing for us. That's awesome! <laughs> yeah. That's fantastic. What kind of films are they? One is, um, like a street drama, and one is a comedy. Oh, cool! Or like a dramedy. Do you want to tell people what the name of it is so they can go watch it? Yeah, so um, the street drama is called Wait, like okay. W E I G H T. Okay. And then the dramedy is called Child Support. Okay. <laughs> oh, that should be funny. <laughs> So to continue some info that I was talking about gloves and products penetrating into your body, what about All right, the creams that. and medicines that we want to penetrate into our body? Well, products have chemical enhancers like ethanol and sodium lauryl sulfate that extract natural lipids from the skin, which allows penetration. There are, are safer mechanisms available to companies who want their active ingredients to penetrate into the skin, like peptides and liposomes, and these have to be very small, less than 500 Daltons. That is the molecular weight of a product. So all transdermal drugs have a delivery system of under 500 Daltons. Mm -hmm. And if you're concerned about a product that you are using, make sure to check the material safety to. data sheet of that product. I've been making a little video about the nail polish launch because I haven't actually said, guess what, it's here. Um, I'll tell you what, that whole editing process, I was trying to push a bottle across the table and film a slow motion. I'm like, what am I doing? Like this is, I am really spending too much time doing this stuff. So I scrapped that idea. I'm like just get it done. <laughs> yeah, I need an assistant. What software do you use to edit? I don't know, bro. I use a few different ones actually. I mean, Final Cut made that one fancy. Okay. I installed Final Cut Pro on my computer and I didn't have enough space for everything and everything was running so slow. I was like, eh, I'm not going to learn this right now. I just deleted it. Like what Do I you use your phone? Or? No, I use um just iMovie. iMovie. Yeah. It does what I need it to do. Yeah. I can use Adobe Premiere too, but it's just easier, simple. iMovie is simple.
How long have you been producing movies? I've been doing it for about 11 years. Cool. It's fun. Uh, we just shot three this year. Did you? Do you write your own too? Um, yeah, pretty much I write the stories and then I have to write the story. It's hard sitting around thinking, what am I going to put in this? <laughs> You must be pretty good at it if it's going to be on Netflix. I work too. The one way that that's going to have about five dollars is. Is it? Yeah, it's on Prime now. That's awesome. I can't wait to watch it. Are you ready for another myth about glove use? The myth is you can be inspected and fined by OSHA for not wearing gloves. OSHA does not make nail technicians wear gloves. OSHA is an occupational safety hazard association here in the United States to protect employees in the work environment from hazards in the workplace, not from client skin. You should wear gloves when cleaning the pedicure tub with harsh chemicals, but as long as the salon owner has a box of gloves in the salon at your disposal, the salon owner is following the guidelines of OSHA for, to protect their employees. You are not going to be inspected or fined by OSHA for not wearing gloves. Now it's up to you. I can trim this off so nothing gets stuck underneath of it or you can try to clean it out from underneath of it at home and wait for it to grow out and reattach. I think You know, it snowballs, so I understand how, you know, they got to that position, but really it's just, um, you know, not tending to them on a frequent basis. And so, build up a curd and can't reach them. She had a breast cancer diagnosis, and um, the medications make your skin real dry. Did you see what TLC has this new show? Um, 
my yeah. feet are killing me. My feet are killing me. Yeah, I helped them cast that. Really? Yeah. Well, they asked me to reach out to people and ask people to send their problems to them. Yeah, we were, we were watching that. Oh, we were watching people pop, right? Yeah. yeah we saw the, the, um, the preview for that. Yeah. you think? Okay. When you were just rubbing it, I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did a good job, I did. <laughs> I'm just sitting here thinking, you guys look so young, and then with five kids, and then I started adding up the years and remembered that my mom had five kids by the time she was 26. Did she? Uh-huh. Wow. Yeah. But the more amazing thing is that my stepdad married my mom when she was, he was 19, and she had three kids. And they're still married. Still married. Like my parents, my parents, my mom was 19 when they got married, so they'll be celebrating 40 years next year. Nice. He's a good dad. You guys look sleepy. Yeah. <laughs> because we stay up watching. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know why, like, lately we've been doing it. Standing up really. Yes. Crickets, pimple popper, and toenails. And your wax. And then next thing you know, it's four o'clock.
feel different than it looks like on YouTube. Yeah, I mean, I didn't, I, I wasn't trying to have that happen. I've been doing this for 25 years, so I have a full clientele. So when people are calling, trying to get in, they have to wait for months to wow. even find an appointment. Yeah. And they wait too long. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they do. YouTube, YouTube helps them understand what she's doing. So. put a little trailer of your movies on YouTube too? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for child support and wait, they're both on YouTube right now. marketing for you. You do some marketing for me. Yeah, works for us. <laughs> Was trying to push the polish across the table of course I mean you should see my work area you know it's full of all kinds of other shit yeah. so I'm just trying to scoot enough <laughs> shit out of the way just to, do that. Just to <laughs> fill that thing I'm like I'll crop that out right. you know because <laughs> I'm doing it like at 11 30 at night yeah. after I've come home and yeah, I can see you now. and then I'm like I couldn't get my hand out of the way fast enough and I'm like oh can I get some string and Try and pull it, or <laughs> yeah, I'm like, well, how can I do this? And then I you thought, you could glue some fish wire to the side of it and just pull, pull it. Yeah. And you know, I always hear Bruce in my head. He's like, you're trying too hard. You're this. You're that. You know, come to bed. It's 2 a.m. I'm like, all right, I, I'm going to bed. And for relief, just make sure you give me your email and stuff so we can um, like, I will. logos yeah. and things you can send them on to me. Sure. Whenever I 
I do this part, I think the toes are waving to the people. That is, I was looking at that, I'm like, that is so <laughs> creepy, because like, watch, look at my toes. Uh -huh. yeah. Look, Grandma, she does that. See how they're moving? Like, I'm not doing that. Yeah. <laughs> Attendant, and I'm like, oh, let's wave to the <laughs> I know it's easy to tell when a lifted area is close to the free edge of the nail, like this little tiny area here where I'm cleaning under, but the left side of the nail where my thumb is, it's kind of hard to tell if it's lifted or just discolored. But after I start cleaning underneath that left side again, you're going to be able to tell how far underneath the ingrown sidewall cleaner goes, that whole discolored part does have compacted material under it, and all of that does need to come out before the nail can start to reattach and grow up the nail bed. And when you see her next video, you're going to be shocked at how clear that area is and how much it's grown up. See now, you can see where your free edge is. A lot of that stuff has come out, more of that stuff.
how those feel. Mm -hmm. The nail mycosis product works much better and faster if you don't wear nail polish, but she wants to wear nail polish and she promised that she would apply it at the free edge of the nail plate to make sure that it does get underneath her toenail to get to clear up that nail fungus so this is my base coat it's called all about that base and she's getting the color the toenail color called take that taupe and then we'll use my top coat which is called top of the world and then we'll use cuticle oil at the end that is called Call Me Ma'am Mango. Your goal when polishing your toenails is to apply the layers in thin layers so that they are dry before you get to the next layer. When you layer a second layer of nail polish on top of a layer of nail polish, it does re-wet it a little bit. That's why if it's too thick, it will just drag and pull. So you can tell that was really, really shiny. <laughs> and now if you look at this foot, that it's got a kind of a matte look. But you did see me apply base coat, so it, it's just that it's dry. And now we're going to apply a very thin layer of the first color. Well, the color. Take that tote. It's a perfect neutral pink. I would categorize it in the nude family that has a very, very, very subtle shimmer in it, like the tiniest little silver sparkles. And if you notice, my brush size is fantastic for toenails. I was so tired of those great, big, fat, bulky brushes trying to polish toenails and I decided I was going to finally make a nail polish back with a reasonable sized brush that we could How polish toenails with. Three. Yeah, I want their nails polished. Mm -hmm. I got three nail polish on her nails now. <laughs> You like the color? Yeah. You falling asleep? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I ask people questions and I'm staring at their toes, so I don't know if they have their <laughs> eyes closed. I'm sorry.
Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to visit my channel. People like you are the reason for my success and I appreciate it so much. But remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for all the latest videos. Remember it is free and I'll see you next time.